Greetings, Churchill Park Runners. As you know, I was your run director for today, the 4th of February 2017. I announced during the briefing this morning that I was going to try something new with the run report. I hope this turns out to be something that you enjoy for when I am run director. Uh, just something that I thought of a few days ago. I thought, well, I do a lot of computer work. Well, I've had a lot of computer work and this is going to be relatively basic, this one, for what I have planned for future run reports. So if you like this, please let me know. Let me know where I can improve. I do have a fair few ideas that I'll uh, venture into in future videos, but for now I'll keep it pretty simple. I've got a whole stack of videos from today's event. I'm not going to play all of them. I might skip a couple here and there, but I'd like to thank everyone that came for today's event. Uh, as a lot of people know, when we went to Vintage Chill, uh, I announced that we had 106 finishes today, and 39 of you recorded a new PB. That is awesome. I love how supportive everyone was. It was great that we introduced the PB bell last week, or the week before. Must have been last week. I don't know. And... We just had so many people ringing that bell saying they've got a PB. A lot of people were absolutely buggered. They came through the finish line and it's like, ah, oh, did you get a PB? Well, you get to ring the bell. People go over to get the bell and it's like, oh. it's tiring. It can be very hard to get a PB. For those that push and push, they know that it's very hard to get a PB, no matter what speed you do. So I'll start off this video so I'm not just having this tiny little bit up in the top corner. This video starts off with Aaron Falzone. He's the event director with Mr. Crisp for the New Borough Park Run, which we have a trial tomorrow at the Maui Botanic Gardens, or New Borough Botanic Gardens, whichever one you want to say. I'll say New Borough. And yeah. Let's have a look at some videos. I'll do a bit of talking while the video plays, and as soon as I get it going. So he was a 25 minute pacer today, and he was doing really well. A lot of people coming behind. Here's Matt. He really wanted to keep up with me at the last park run trial for New Barrow, but I have good faith that he'll very soon overtake me. Uh, so, just as these videos go, you'll hear a little bit going in the background. Hopefully the audio is good so that you hear me more than the actual videos. But it was so good to test out our new pacer vests. Here's Heather as the 27 minute 30 pacer. And people are just casually going along. A fellow walker on the course, but that's okay. Uh, so we had a lot of really great photos from our photographers today and I really enjoyed seeing some different spots that I don't think have been utilised before. They had some nice uh, tree foliage and everything so you can kind of frame people in the picture which was really good. I particularly like this spot here for those that haven't done this course before in the video now showing. This is towards the second turnaround where you realize you have to go all the way back and repeat that first hill that you've done. It's a lovely hill for people that aren't used to them or even people that are. It's really good to be getting to this point. So I'll skip ahead to the next video. Jason Collier. Being silly as I recommended, I did say to people if they see me running around with a camera to do whatever they like, they might be featured in an upcoming video but it's really great to see people out today. It was a hot day today, so well done for coming out to the Churchill Park Run. There is a lot of shade, but 39 PBs today. You all have to be pretty proud of that. Ben Bailey with his daughter going through. So it's really good to see people going through. Our volunteers at the marshalling point. Paces coming and going. It's good to see every two and a half minutes you get a new pacer that goes through. There's Mr. Jeff Gunn. 
an Aeon. Who else is coming up? I was motivating this person, and it's like going and going and going, and then he stops to get stuff out of his wallet, so it's like, oh, okay. Here's Wendy Hurley, fellow friend coming to Churchill Park Run. It was nice to see her. Our run director, our event director, uh, Bob and Eric. A bit of false advertisement here, trying to really encourage this lady. There's no way that was 200 metres behind, but hopefully it got her the PB that she wanted. And as tradition, here's our parkrun high five. Denzel had a lot of enthusiasm at the marshalling point today, which was good to see. I missed the first run as I went to the top of where the finish area is to get some water for our volunteers and as I was going down the people running first place uh, came past so I missed that opportunity. But here we are having the first ring of the PB bell today. Well done. Smashed his time, which is good to see. As you can see, even for our faster runners, it's all very relative. So, coming in and giving it a shot is really good. So, what else can I talk about? We went to Vintage Chill as our restaurant slash breakfast. As you all know, this is where we regularly go now. So I just realised I've been looking up here to where the videos are. Should be looking more at you guys. Uh, it's great to see Alan back. He's been recovering from a bit of an injury. And he absolutely smashed it today. Matt's come in. A little bit tired, but he done really well. So we had a lot of... Uh, people suggesting that we have paces maybe once a month or once every two months. It's really good to hear that they really enjoy it and you really hear how many PBs you get when we have these events. So what are your thoughts? Do you think we need to be having them once a month, maybe every two months? It can be hard to find the paces, like with Newborough coming up shortly, uh, our 25-minute pacer for today might not make it just as much to Churchill but there's plenty of people that can run like 25s and 30s and all that so let us know your thoughts would you like more Pacer themed events would you like more themed events in general uh, there's really a whole heap of things we can do and if you have any ideas you're welcome to float them to us so I'll try and find a couple more videos there was a nice moment just after the... Oh, here we go. We can see the smiles of people that get PBs, which is good. There's just a lot of people today. And this moment in particular, where she's uh, finished her run and has her daughter there, and they both ring the bell in just a second, as soon as the next video loads up, I'm guessing. That's coming up. Here we go. This is why we have Park Run. Lots of special moments that can be had with friends and family. So, uh, there was a lot I was going to talk about, but I think I got through it relatively quick. So, as you know, uh, Park run only happens with volunteers. We had such a huge amount of volunteers today, so with timekeepers and everything, we really appreciate the help from our regulars and anyone that's new to come to the volunteering role. Uh, didn't have a volunteer roster for anyone to write out today. Next week we have Ian as our run director. I believe we just need 
a marshal and a backup timer. So if you're keen for next week to be a volunteer, you're injured or you just want to take it easy or find out what it's like to be one of those uh, volunteers, if you haven't done them before, they're both very rewarding. Like last week I'd done a marshalling for the first time, I believe, and I've been doing parkrun for two to three years now. It's gone, well, not three years, but it's going to that point where I've done it that long, that it's rare to say that I haven't been a marshal before and it was really good. You can be really supportive, and a lot of people do really appreciate having people out there on the course, like our tail runner, for example, and especially our paces. So here we are, after a bit of the vent, we've got Claire Clep here doing the barcode scanning. This is another thing in particular. Uh, it's really good that we're starting to bring the... Oh, here we go. He was loving the lollies here. You can see that. <laughs> and uh, we're just bringing the table outside now for people to really experience the rest of Park Run. So... It might help us solve the missing riddle of where do the finish tokens go. They can see where they have to go now. No excuses, people. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, as I was saying earlier, we went to Vintage Chill. And... Uh, I had chips there for the first time today, and I have to say they were very good. I really enjoyed those chips, so I do recommend them. I didn't have a run today though, so I feel guilty. I feel like I should go for a run now. But I will be running tomorrow, and I will also be the photographer for the New Borough Park Run trial as on the launch. People know I'm usually at a launch for a photographer, but I'm going to be doing this crazy run for 43 kilometres, so don't worry, I'll be feeling everyone's pain that day. <laughs> so. Hopefully this video hasn't gone too long. It probably has. I wanted to keep it short because I know when I do a report, like especially for my big runs, they just go on and on and on. I will try and keep it shorter for next time. Try and get a little bit more information in and I do have a fair few plans for where I want this video to go and just the different... Well, I've just run out of videos. So it's a good time to wrap it up. And what I can do is this, and actually I don't, no, don't play that video. You're actually now looking at a video for where I was testing the audio. So, anyway, I'm not going to do a retake. This is going to be a very basic video. Uh, thank you for your time. I hope this hasn't gone too long for anyone. Uh, we'll keep it shorter for next time. Lots of ideas float them my way if you have any ideas or questions or anything. I do appreciate everyone having me as a run director at Churchill Park Run, and I'll look forward to seeing you all next time. For now, this is, uh, yeah, Matt Briggs. Signing out. Thumbs up. What's a thumbs up? There's the camera. <laughs>